You remember the wide receiver, Henry Ruggs, that played for the Las Vegas Raiders? Now more news has surfaced about him. Now he's facing even more charges. Now he's facing five total charges stemming from his fatal car crash this week, including four felonies, which was reported by TMZ Sports. Court records show the former Las Vegas Raiders star has been hit with DUI with a DUI resulting in the death. DUI resulting in substantial body harm, presumably for the injuries caused to his girlfriend, the passenger, and two reckless driving charges, which are all felonies. Ruggs was also hit Friday with the misdemeanor charge of possessing a gun under the influence of alcohol. If convicted on all counts, prosecutors say Ruggs is facing up to 46 years behind bars. When I reported on it the first time, they were saying uh, DUI with a fatality, it holds up to from two to 20 years. But now it's almost as if his years have doubled. And it says, previously reported Ruggs is accused of speeding in his Corvette while drunk on Tuesday morning in Las Vegas and while carrying a loaded gun in his car. Officials say Ruggs reached a speed of 156 miles per hour and eventually slammed into the back of a Toyota RAV4 at 126 miles per hour, killing a woman and her dog. In a video that was obtained by TMZ Sports, you can see in the moments after the crash, Ruggs was swearing and sobbing, just feet away from the wreckage. Ruggs ultimately showed up to court on Wednesday in a neck brace and a wheelchair, though he did not enter a plea. I'm gonna put the link to this video. I'm gonna put the link to, Rugg, to Ruggs at the car crash. And when you hear some of the things he was saying, even though he was drunk, he still knew that he had screwed up. And that's why he was cussing and fussing and crying because he knew I fucked up my career. And that's why once again, even these high paid athletes coming from the bottom to the top or even to the mid tier. They need role models. They need people to talk to them and help them. And also in another video that was obtained by TMZ, it shows a Corvette speeding by fast. And they saying this possibly could have been him. And we do have to think about it. The cameras are everywhere. We're being recorded everywhere we go. So it's easy if you can kind of locate which area we were in, it's going to be a camera within those areas. It's always a camera in the area. You know what I'm saying? So we're never getting away with nothing. We're not going to get away. Only if they just choose to let you get away, like the person's camera wasn't turned directly at you or something like that, or they cut the system off but they still got the camera up something like that and with rugs he's just a 20 year 22 year old you know and i can imagine he's he's going through some hell right now you know got that nice deal over there with the raiders and just overindulged and, and having fun he just overdid it he wasn't mindful but when you're not mindful and you overdo it, a person could lose their life like that woman and her dog. You know, they can't come back. You're still here. So at times people have to ask themselves, what do you expect should, what do you expect should happen to him? Her family ain't gonna see her again. So you, you just have to think about it. That's why I, I don't like to be a rush to judgment type of person, but I do like to try to keep it a buck, you know, and call it like I call it. And we know that's facts.
You can win money in the suit and everything. But your loved one, you can't get them back. So what's more important to you? A couple of million dollars or not being able to see your loved one ever again? And that's why you young people, you got to be mindful out here. Just like him, he's 22 years old. A chicken head can't tell you nothing. You need the big homie, father, mother, uncle, grandma, whoever's that support system that could kind of shake, shift you back into the place you need to be. When you start veering too much to the left or to the right, somebody to put you right back in center. And you know, even for him, we only gonna be here one time. You wanna spend your one time behind bars. And my condolences definitely goes out to, to that woman that lost her life in that accident. I mean, nobody wakes up in the morning or in the night or wherever they're traveling from and say to themselves that I might not make it home. No, you only thinking about, oh yeah, when I get home, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna get home, I'm, I'm about to crash out when I get to the house. I'm about to eat this leftover pizza, whatever you're thinking about. But you can best believe nobody's thinking about being killed. So, you know, out here we got to be more responsible, young people. 156 miles an hour is not responsible at all. If you, I don't even understand how the girlfriend was in the car with you and wasn't like, hey, if you don't pull this thing up, I'm jumping out at 156 miles an hour, you know, to make you slow down. Because if I'm in the car with you and you're doing, if you're doing 100, I'm, you better slow it down. I'm going to use whatever and get up out that car. If you don't want to slow it down, I'm going to be like, I got to take a piss or I'm going to piss in your car. Then when you pull over at the gas station for me to take a piss, I'm going to be like, peace, see you, and call me an Uber. You know, so that that's crazy too. She must have been pretty drunk herself because 156 miles an hour would scare the dog shit out of you. It would scare the dog shit out of me. I just couldn't imagine, I can't even imagine myself being a passenger in that. But yeah, I just wanted to say, this is what's happening with this young man. You know, he had some additional charges and now he can face additional time as well, 46 years, which is a lot. So, you know, for the rest of the young people, this is a case of what negligence can give you. It can give you hardship. And with that, I'm gonna say this is the news in you, North, East, West, South, Unite from every alley in Cali, intersection and back street, subscribe to the channel and hit the thumbs up on your way out the door. I'm not who you think I am. Your perception is a lesson with a fail grade on it. Yeah. Steady living life like I would never see the morning. True shit, man, I'm more than pain. I'm more than stain on sidewalk. I'm more than black skin on my face. Destined to be great. Gotta elevate mind. Elevation is the game that I gotta play. Gotta win. Gotta find escape to a better day.